when I teach about computer hardware, um, I teach about five different categories. Input, processing, output, storage, and communications. And what I like to do, as opposed to just describing them, is to have show and tell and pieces of equipment that I could pass around the classroom, students can actually touch or feel. Uh, many of them have already seen a keyboard, but in the event that you might have a student that doesn't, I pass around a keyboard. I also have a wireless keyboard with a USB uh, ports on it that you could show a, a student and, and uh, maybe they haven't seen that. A digital camera is another example of an input device that I pass around in the classroom. Many students have already seen a mouse, but maybe they want to take apart and see the the ball on the inside. Perhaps they haven't had the opportunity to do that before. You could talk to them about the wheels or how to clean a mouse. Um, a microphone, another example of an input device that maybe some students haven't seen you could pass around and, and they could actually touch and feel. Uh, maybe you have a trackball or a, a flatbed scanner in your classroom or one that you could bring in as another example. Uh, you might have the scanner sit on a table where students could come up and look at it or you might pass around some of the smaller devices. Uh, in, when it comes to uh, processing, uh, I like to have a motherboard that I could pass around that students can actually touch and feel, maybe uh, put cards in and out of. Uh, I have a, a memory chip that you can pass around, students can actually touch and, and feel. Uh, most students have never seen a processor out of a PC, so I pass that around. Students can actually see the pins on the bottom and, and refer to that so that they can actually touch and see what we're talking about when we say CPU. Um, in, in the output category, um, I have a monitor in my classroom and a printer in my classroom, and I refer to both of those. Um, I also uh, pass around speakers and uh, some earbuds for audio output that they might um, maybe haven't seen before or haven't uh, uh, seen a particular version or style that you have that you want to share. Um, I also refer to the data projector in my classroom that hangs on the ceiling so that they know that's another type of an output device. In the Storage category, uh, I have a CD uh, drive that uh, maybe some students haven't touched or seen before. Uh, most of them are pretty familiar with different types of CDs, but I do have some that I can refer to. I have uh, taken apart a floppy disk so that they can see the material that's inside, uh, a, t a tape out of a backup from a backup server. Um, I usually have several different flash drives because students have all different types now and maybe they've seen a different one, maybe they've never seen a miniature one. And one of the parts I like to really emphasize with the storage is about a hard drive and I have one that I've taken apart so that students can see the inside and actually get an idea of what we're talking about with a hard drive. And I also refer to a poster that I have where it shows the closeness of a hard drive to the actual disc platter and how that relates to the thickness of a human hair, the thickness of a dust particle, and the thickness of a fingerprint. And many students haven't ever been able to grasp the concept of how close the read-write head is to the hard drive. So that's another example that I like to use whenever I teach about computer hardware. And our fifth category is about communication devices. Uh, I have a, a modem an external modem. I also have a DSL modem and if you didn't, your school didn't have one, you could bring one in from home maybe for the day to pass around or talk about. And a network card so that they can uh, physically touch and hold and see. Uh, maybe you want to have a network cable that you could plug in and show them a network cable and maybe you want to show them the difference between a phone cable and a network cable and how they fit or don't fit into a particular device. So that's another example of uh, what I like to pass around and show so that students can actually physically touch. Uh, input device or an output device, a processing uh, component, uh, storage or a communications device. Physically touch, pass around and show and let them see what kind of devices we're talking about and referring to.